Ah, what is good? Coach Steve here with I Love Basketball TV and today I'm gonna to be teaching you three tricks that you can use to instantly increase your vertical jump today. Let's go. Easy. For the set. One one two. Easy. Get the flip check. Call me who are you? What's going on guys? If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We do new videos every single week to help your shooting, your ball handling, and today with me, vertical jump. So if you're into that, hit that button, hit that notification so you're the one doing the dunking, not getting dunked on. Let's go. All right, so to start off, number one is the warm up. And I know you're thinking that's pretty basic, but there's so many more details that go into it as an athlete to dynamically warm up, to jump and explode your best. So, quick overview is I want you to understand you gotta go from head to toe, and I want you to go from cold to warm, and then warm to hot. That'll get you ready to jump, and that's a big key that I've learned in my experience that when I warm up properly, I jump my best, and when I don't warm up properly, I don't even jump at all. I can't even get up, and it spirals, and I start doing the wrong technique, and all these negative things keep happening during my jumping session, so it's really, really key. So our goal with the warm-up is to get everything moving, getting everything warm, right? So you do some jogs in place, you can run, you can jog, you can shoot around, that's how I usually do it. Usually work on my handles and my shooting during my little warm-up jog just to break a sweat. Once you break a sweat, you can start moving in different directions. So that's the key when it comes to doing an athletic dynamic warm-up. You're not just gonna be running and jogging like this, I want you to do side-to-side -side movements lightly, right? Side-to-side, -side, lateral movements whatever it is, feeling your body, feeling the different parts of your muscles, and then also movements that you don't normally do when you run, like knee ups, right? Getting your hips warm, bends, some good mornings, like this, right? And then rotations, get your hips open. This is the connector from your legs, your upper body, huge in vertical jump. So when you're getting warm and you're breaking a sweat and your muscles are getting loose, start doing those movements. Do some lunges, right? Focusing on the form, right? You gotta warm up everything. Do some leg swings, right? every direction, right? All these different things are helping you move in all these different directions, and that's why when you play a game of pickup, it's one of the keys to getting you warm because you're doing all the different moments, movements without even understanding that you're doing them, and that's what we're trying to emulate with our warm-up. So once your blood is flowing, you're actively moving, you're changing direction, and you're going through the full ranges of motion with the lunges and really getting blood flow in every crevice of your body, then you start light jumping. I call them baby jumps, and it's for two reasons. One, to keep you warmed up, keeping that warm-up process going gradual instead of jumping right into jumping, no pun intended, but you're also telling your mind that we're getting ready to jump, okay? So you just come at the rim. I like to do both plants, a little left, right, come back, do a little right, left, touch the backboard, right? Low effort, low effort, and you just wanna, this is also a good time to work on your technique, so you're really hammering home that technique as you're warming up, so as you gradually add speed and intensity, your technique is building on top of that and you're reinforcing that good technique. All right, so that's your warm up, and there's still tons of details. I have other videos on that specifically for the warm up, but that is a huge key that's an instantly increase your vertical. So now the next one is speed. It's more on the technique. So I see so many people trying to attack the rim, focus on their technique, and they go for the rim and they're trying to power up so much. As a short dunker, you need speed. And one of the things I see most of the times is when I see people attacking the rim, they say, how's my technique? They have good technique, and they say, how do I get better? How do I jump higher? And I always say, Go harder, go faster. And I have videos on the optimal speed, but for now, for the basics, go faster. Push yourself hard. And I guarantee you, if you think about that when you're trying to jump your highest, you're going, you're reaching, think about, let me see if I can hit that next gear. So you come here and you're attacking the rim and you don't wanna just take off in a sprint, but you're taking smooth steps and you're taking off as hard as you can. So you're adding speed. But again, another thing with the speed is after your warm up we're going from warm to hot. So the warm up brought us from cold to warm, and now we're going from warm to hot. So you can't go from warm to full speed, we have to make that gradual. So we did the baby jumps, now we're gonna do medium jumps to get going. See what, see what your boy's got in the tank. Little medium jump. Oh, he's got a little bit, he's got a little bit. So the speed is not only for your approach, but your takeoff. A lot of times I see people really trying to load up, and they kind of slow down right here always explode faster, your last two steps are the fastest, speed, arms, think fast arms, swing hard, explode, and add that speed, and I guarantee you'll help you increase your vertical instantly, let's go, get up. <laughs> All right, so the last tip I have for you to help you increase your vertical instantly right now 
is throwing a lob. And this one is sort of magical because when I see people do it, it really changes the way they attack the rim completely. So if you're used to, that's why it's good to go in a low rim because you can practice the timing. But if you're just trying to increase your vertical, even if you can't dunk on 10 feet yet, you throw a high lob and go for that ball. And what that does is it taps into our natural instincts to go for something. Because when we're going for the rim, we're going at the rim. When you go for a lob, you're just throwing it, you're going higher than the rim. It's helping you mentally go higher than the rim. So what I say is, throw it really high. I'm rusty. That's not, I was actually freaking perfect. So throw a lob like that and go for it. Because when you go for that lob, it's gonna push you to go a little higher. And that's the key. And always throw it higher because it's better if it's higher above the rim than if it's under the rim, you're gonna catch it like this. So if you're going for a dunk, it definitely helps. Whether you're dunking or not, throw it above the rim. Go for those big, big catches. That's how I increase my vertical. Getting that stimulus, telling my body I wanna reach higher, it helps you open up. So some tips about it is when it goes really high, say it bounces, you gotta go get that thing. It makes your eyes look really up which keeps your technique up, right? Your chest up. And when you plant, you're looking up, which is the right technique and you're exploding and you're reaching, right? So instead of going for the rim like this half armed, you're reaching for that ball as hard as you can. And that has it been, whew, and that has been one of the biggest keys that I see instantly increase your vertical that you wouldn't really think of because it includes a ball and an object and it's nothing about your technique. It's more about the mindset, but it really changes everything about your physical jump. And by the way, if you're interested in even more vertical jump information, we have a free guide below. Just click the link below and you'll get your instant download to help you go next level. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. I really hope that helps. If you go try some of these things, tag me, tag I Love Basketball in your Instagram stories. We'd love to see you working on it. Let let us know what you'd like to see next week in a comment and stay tuned for more info. Let's go.